This is the Tip Network with Scotty and Grover, where we go deep in the culture, combat sports, and self-improvement. So what do we have today? We have something deep in the culture. So what we have today is a reaction to a TikTok video where uh, one lady uh, who's uh, very beautiful, uh, long hair, dark skinned sisters, uh, and then uh, another lady comes on uh, who's highly tattooed, mm -hmm. and and you, you know they pull a they pull a switcheroo on you. you wait, know? Wait, wait, wait. Let's let's run the clip. Men will literally have women thinking that looks do not matter until they actually start to make some money. Now all of a sudden you want someone who looks like Halle Berry. Where was that motivational speech that you was talking when you was broke? <laughs> Isn't it funny how women always find a way to turn shit around on men? Like, last time I checked, women are all over social media telling men that they ain't shit unless they've got money. I'm pretty sure it's women that tell men that if they're ugly, they're lucky that they even got a girlfriend in the first place, and so they shouldn't complain about how she treats him. Like, where... What world do you live in that this is the reality? Women are always valued. No matter what. If I don't want to have a career, that's fine. I can just take my clothes off and make a bunch of money. Or I can become a mother and society still tells me I'm valued. If men don't want to get money though, they're looked at as bums. Don't sit up here with this bullshit like men idea. only value yeah, women when they have money. No other way around. Okay. Yeah, so first of all, I want to say for just a single camera, yeah. a single camera, it may even be a phone. Man, just uh, it's really good work. This is what I'm telling you. We got to get on tip. Take a little. <laughs> almost said tip <laughs> talk. Said tip. We got to get on. We have tip talks. <laughs> or are you trying to get on tit talk? Are you trying to get on tit talk? Huh? But, no. but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Now with her in the very first clip, you know what? Actually, my first reaction to this clip was I thought the one in the first clip, because I didn't hear the sound yet, mm -hmm. was going to. Actually, I didn't know anything. But from what Grover showed me, I thought the second girl was going to be somewhat of a a third wave feminist but yeah. i was uh surprised to put it mildly well, that well, it was the other way around right so, so that she was defending men yeah. so here's the thing like so uh dark skin sister what she says it's like hey look you need to look at you know like why do men uh always act like it's not about money until they have money to anyone holly berry obvious uh dumbass uh first of all men are telling <laughs> you that it's not about money because they're trying to swing up they're trying to get something a little higher you probably told them look you don't have enough money to fuck with me and the guy probably said hey look it ain't about money baby why it gotta be about money baby i don't have money right now but i got potential mm -hmm. and then when dude actually did have potential and came back with money after you rejected him and you're sitting here saying hey what's up i remember you know you pull up in this nice car this not that and this and he was like uh bitch you don't look good enough Enough, I want to go with Hot Miss Holly Berry over here. And so that's what that that's what really said. But what really strikes me with this video, right? And talk about the second person is that she breaks down a lot of truth. And the truth is this when she says women are always valued, because women bring children to this planet, and we need women to bring children, right? To usher in the new culture, usher in the new them. generation. And because women are the first teachers, yes, they're gonna be championed and, and cherished and they should be cherished i'm not saying that women have all of the equal rights of course you know um there, there are certain things like wage disparagement things of that nature whether you believe in it or not that you know can affect women but i will say this right now in 2021 it's more equal than ever and women are from what i see super unsatisfied with life mm -hmm. you know uh now with that being said uh women frequently tell men you're not shit if you don't make money mm -hmm. uh by the way that woman says well a man has to make this much money be this tall and this good and this and that for me to mess with him for women like watching especially these hot girl summer idiots and i hope they have a a pregnant woman fall in a single mother <laughs> spring mm. oh, <laughs> but but that's horrible. I'm just playing. I don't want nobody to be a single mother, but it's going to happen. But, uh, you know, they said, like, I literally watched interviews and ladies said, well, look, I just can't mess with somebody with a nine to five. You know, that's slow money. You got to be hustling on a side for me to fuck with you. And it's like, what world do you live in where somebody should risk their life and their freedom to make you happy? And this is what a lot of men are faced with. A lot of men are faced with that the women that they think are desirable 
don't want them because they don't make a lot of money. And then what happens is that as time goes along, like this lady here, where this lady, she's not 22 years old that we watched in the first clip. She looks like she's about 32, maybe even 35, right? As time <laughs> goes along and all of a sudden they're saying, oh, well, what happened now that you got money? Well, when you were 23 and I was making me, you, you didn't want over nothing. This way, that's why. You didn't want nothing to do with yeah. me. Now that I got money, I got options. And guess mm. what? I don't want you. And so we know it's not in every case, but let's just be real about this. Being men, we know the realities of the world and we are prepared for the realities. And so we accept it for what it is. So we compete, we play the game. Mm -hmm. And so now to turn it back on us is like, we reach our prime after our thirties yep. or earn more earning potential. Mm -hmm. Actually, actually, uh, most men earn the most money in their life between 42 and 55. Yep. That's the boomer generation mm -hmm. has the most wealth. And they do. They do. So now going to women, the prime, the, their prime is reached between the ages of 18 to 25 or something. And just because I said that doesn't mean I don't find 40 year olds attractive or 60 year olds attractive. I do. Trust me, I do. But the thing is, when it comes down to it, in general, in generalities, there's primes from between men and women are completely different. Uh -huh. And so women can make a lot of money just showing their toes on OnlyFans. Mm. I, I can't really be showing my toes and be making a lot of money. Well, you, you know, I can't be doing certain things to be making that kind of money. And it's fine. I accept it for what uh, it man, is. I can't even show my toes on only hams. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Let's be realistic, man. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I mean... And, and she she said it there like you can get an only fans you can do this and that but and men are also if we're not earning we're looked at as bums yep and that, that's a, that's a big fact is because right now i'm on my ro road to be building these brands and i'm making sacrifices right now and definitely my love life my romantic life is suffering but i'm fine with that because to me this is playing the game mm -hmm. and it is what it is and so i know i'm not as valuable to women right now and that's fine it's okay. I understand what the rules are and I'm playing in the, in the game so I can put myself in a better position to win later on in life. Right on. And so if you're a woman and it's your season right now, enjoy it. It, yeah. it is, it is what it is. But, 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 but just understand that seasons change. Mm -hmm. Love changes and best friends become strangers. Mm -hmm. I just tried to quote Nas. But anyway, <laughs> uh, like you said, and at your age, this is right there. You're at the same age I was when I said, okay, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to make things happen. I'm going to start making money. And there's a chance of failure. Trust yeah. me, there is a chance there's of a failure. Huge chance. And I'm fine with that. I'm like willing to, to take that risk. Exactly. But what I'm not willing to do is nothing. Yeah. And so uh, I love this reaction video and I love the context and the answer back. And I hope that people look at it for the truth that what it is, women, I'm not saying that it's absolutely wrong for you to want a man to provide and to have things. I'm just saying that be aware that once guys get that stuff, you may not be what they want. Mm -hmm. And it is what it is. And it's a big maybe. It is, it's not definitive fact. It's not 100% guaranteed. But if we're going through the probabilities of, of statistics of what, how men behave and women behave, well, we got to think about the probabilities. All right, fuck it. Let me get raw. <laughs> let me get raw right now. Oh, just take her. <laughs> let me get raw. Just, so just, listen. So listen. Oh my there was God. a time in my life All right. when I was making very little money. Okay. Very little money. So what happened was I worked on myself and I made sure I worked multiple jobs. I did whatever I could. I increased my skills, went to school, worked multiple jobs, did whatever I could to make sure that I was in a better financial state. And this is what happened. During the time when I was building me, I was trying to talk to a female and she straight told me I did not have the things that she wanted. I drove a Thunderbird, I think a 95 Thunderbird. And she was like, Thunderbird, you ain't got a like a Lexus or something like that. I'm like, Lexus, is this Thunderbird payment is kicking my ass. You know, I was working at Safeway. I was bouncing at night. I was working production side gigs. I was working my so eyes. You, you were a guy that was having potential. You had the ambition in his eyes. Well, I, and not only did I have ambition, but people didn't even know I had ambition because when other folks would go, hey, Grover, going to this party, this and that, I would stop by the party for 35 minutes. Everyone thought I was a square. I would leave and go do production. Or I would leave and go home and sleep or I leave and go bounce. Mm -hmm. because I was making money any way I could. And so then 
things change up for me a little. My hard work pays off. I'm not a worker no more. I'm a manager at the, at the business I'm working at, right? And all of a sudden, this same individual, right? Because now, you know, I remember, you know, them saying, oh, you should have a Lexus. I remember buying myself a Lexus, you know? And then I remember also having a motorcycle and a Cadillac at the same time and having way too much stuff, which, by the way, don't buy a bunch of cars. Like, I have a very reasonable car now and will continue to do so for the rest of my life. And, and, but I remember the same individual and I'm not going to say your name cause you're subscribed, <laughs> but I remember the same, dun, dun, dun. I remember the same individual saying uh-huh. Grove, what's up? And I was like, uh, Hey, how you doing? But in my mind, I was like, you didn't want me when I was making me. So basically it's your prime time, but it's past her prime. She, she couldn't, she couldn't even see my draws Mm -hmm. she couldn't she didn't qualify and i started dating someone else and she was so upset and i was dating someone who was about eight years younger than me at the time i was in my 30s and hot and popping and you know dancing salsa and it was what it was but that was her decision so if you're not gonna jump on a bandwagon when a bandwagon is empty don't try to get on it when it's full because it's hard to be a bandwagon fan see that's the thing is like even if in our own media game right Mm -hmm. i don't want people trying to ride the wave when we start getting hot or my other channel getting hot like i'm always gonna respect you i'm always gonna love you but the thing is if you weren't there out into the ocean on your surfboard waiting for that wave to start yep then it's I like you weren't there during my struggles. You weren't there during during our 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 trying to make something yeah. of ourselves and try, trying to figure it out. You weren't there like 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 I got respect for the like the first ten subscribers who weren't related to us who were just like hey coming in and like hey you guys keep going on and giving us support in the comic section yeah, like yeah, Pings yeah. Farm, Pings Farm, Omega with cheese, Omega with cheese. Yep, you know Kip. You know what I mean. These folks, like who was who was hitting it up, and y'all, I ain't seen y'all in the comments for a while. I'll get it together, folks. But uh, anyway, I'm just saying, like, but like, the, like if you if you gonna try to catch the wave late, uh, your surfboard your surfboard ain't gonna be big enough, homie. Mm-hmm. But uh, and there's I, still gonna be much love. But the thing is, not everyone's gonna be. But it's not gonna be as, the ride. as much love mm-hmm. <laughs> as the folks who was there at first. Anyway, uh. Just really wrapping this up. Okay. I think that this reaction video is because yeah, yeah, you went into it raw. It's funny, but I just had to say I've been in that situation before personally, and I personally see how it turns out, <laughs> and it never turns out the way you think it's gonna turn out, ladies. <laughs> I'm just gonna let you know it doesn't turn out that way. So you're, I, you're gonna look in the mirror and the wrinkles are gonna be a little deeper, mm-hmm. and he's gonna still look kind of the same. Maybe he has a little more time on his hand. Maybe he dropped 80 pounds. Maybe and his wallet got a little And bigger. his wallet. I mean, he's going to be sitting there. He's going to be sitting in a chair. You're going to be like, you got a back problem? He's like, nah, that wallet is fat and I'm leaning. <laughs> and it's going to be on you. So if you don't want to get on early, don't try to get on late. <laughs> Boom. I'm, I'm done. Wait, I'm wait, done. wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. We got to roll it back. All right. Roll it back. Make sure you like, you subscribe, and you're hitting the bell for more <laughs> notifications. Ting a ling. So you can catch all of our latest videos. Yes. All the latest crass humor. You're Actually, we, we're pretty good. And yeah. so where can they find you, Grover? At I am Gorilla One on the gram. And you can find me at Scott dot dot I E E E three E's on the gram. On the and gram. then you can check down the links below for Oric Unity, my uh-huh. YouTube channel, where I talk about bi-weekly crypto news, as well as other crypto co- topics and holistic development. Yep. And um, booty in your face. I like it. <laughs>